words to the loss for words. This is the discovery of a lifetime. No, no, of the 20th century. Have I found Schrodinger's cat? This is beyond my wildest imagination. What are you As rambling? A the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force. They experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. So, okay. I found I hope this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. Hmm. Alternative energy. Office supplies. <laughs> Alternate reality. Large creatures. This empty today, one of the guards patrolling the summer facility walked by. It. I asked, Oh, I asked him if, if he was keeping an eye on things. I don't think he got it. <laughs> uh. Scientist jokes. Okay. This looks like the continuation. I'll quickly check over here. Charlotte Smith, I ran through the annual psychological assessment for a personnel st for all personnel stationed in Area 634. Many are reaching a breaking point in their isolation from friends and family back home, and the work hours demanded from them is taking its toll on morale. Despite this, most are quite mentally stable. The project lead, Andrew Fisher, does concern me. Andrew Fisher, huh? I'll just quickly go upstairs here. room. The leaf suit may prove to be the pin pinnacle pe feat of pendulum. We can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II success will herald a new wave of iterations. Okay, so the...
produced bonds of unparalleled yield. We rely upon the life seed, housed within a reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, hmm. which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> oh my god. The other scientists were were all talking about atoms. I told them not to trust them since they make up everything. They asked me to leave. Huh. Because you're a skeptic. Sell more. This looks like a reactor. Something opening here. Okay. They've been sucking the energy out of the life seat. God damn it. No wonder nature is pissed. Depending on the degree of magnitude, certain organisms provide very little emerator energy when targeted by the leaf suit's guard hand. Smaller organisms such as insects, grass flowers and other less substantial entities provide close to zero energy, thereby affording no value to pathfinders seeking energy. Oh, come on. Slenderman? No? I thought the bombs being created were impressive enough, but it's that new weapon prototype that will undoubtedly steal all the attention. It's being called Thanatos. Death. <coughs> <coughs> Twin brother of Eros, I suppose. Son of Venus. It was soon discovered that if the Pathfinder has a vision of their own death, it is in fact them actually dying. Instead of remaining dead, they branch into a new wave of reality, whereupon they continue to live, albeit at the cost of an equi equivalent amount of life within that branch. To put it plainly, if a Pathfinder wearing the leaf suit dies through some accident, their death is traded with the life of a nearby living thing. They achieve quantum immor immortality. Effectively, those wearing leave. Okay. Actually, to wave function collapse. That's twisted. Tracing the life seat's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking epicenter of the Pleistocene extinction event, I was led to this valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon immediate uh, examination of one of the orbs, I discovered their vast energy potential. With the help of the Pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seat within the valley. Oppenheimer wouldn't be won't believe his ears upon hearing the marvels I have accomplished. Well, dude, he has his own things to figure out. 
When I met Einstein at Princeton, okay, now they're just rubbing it into historical faces. Argon. Science jokes. What? What was that? Binders, early computer pro systems, and full. Yeah, but... Hang on. What was down here? Nothing? Okay. Maximum load, 2,000 pounds. The valley is suffering. The natural life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Edwin thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming quieter. Are we gradually killing this place? Yeah, you are. That self-righteous anthropologist is stirring up trouble again. Her moral objections to this project are the last thing I need on my mind. If it weren't for the isolation policy, I'd have her removed from the premises and sent back home. Yeah, they were. They were destroying the valley from the inside. Using its life seat. 26 acorns. Oh my god, okay. the path down to the, the reactor. Okay. I guess here goes nothing. The orbs that grow within the valley yield vast deposits of energy. Pendulum aims to win the war by harnessing this energy using the life seed. It's getting dark and dreary. Hmm, what sort of an upgrade could this be? Pushrod piston maximum velocity upgrade. Okay. Oh, free fall. No, no free fall. Our newly developed pushrod pistons will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. Really? So 
so this should lead down to the reactor. This whole construction seems to be very unstable. Here we go. Holy crap! Flying midair. This is awesome. Oh, curves. Oh, damn it. Jump ahead. Cool sound design. Oh my god. Into fast. Hang on, hang on. Okay, good. When will this ever stop? One last jump. Are you shooting? Awesome. 